Today's a very exciting day because every Year 8 lesson in the timetable is about pattern across nine different schools. Whether it's English, maths, PE, science, geography, history, art, it's all about pattern. The lessons today have been written by 14 subject specialists, each with the brief to make pattern the central concept of the lesson. Now, I've got within here one set of words that I think are very, very clearly belonging to a specific semantic field. I don't want you to tell me what that is yet, I want you to go through and highlight. But I also think there's another two semantic fields. In English we learn about the semantic field, which is a group of words that represents one feeling. So let's say like upset um, would represent sad. So what sort of things are we going for when we think of isolated? What words are we attaching to that? I've got alone, remote. Yep. Remote, that's a good one. Secluded. Secluded, fantastic. What would you say the musician is following? A rhythm, spot on, and a pattern well done you. Fantastic answer, yes. We made a sort of a song out of the clapping. Um, and we they called it a cell. So we have like each cell for a block. And we made a pattern in those blocks with the a dot. If it's at different times, what would be the key word that we use to describe that difference there? Yes. Is that right? Face? Face. Face shifting. Okay, if you work together to get the answer, haven't you? And what about the tap dancing? Was it repetitive? What did yeah, it change? Most of the time they did it at the same time. Okay. Like sometimes they did it the, like with the cups and the tap dance. My favourite lesson was dance because it was really fun to use patterns in dance. We learned that we get variation when we break the rules of patterns. What are we noticing about that sequence? Um, seven. Brilliant. They're all those numbers from the Fibonacci sequence that we originally started with. So that Fibonacci sequence forms this spiral and it keeps on going. It can keep on going and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. The students were really engaged and interested, weren't they? Yeah. Even at break, they were excited about going back into their lessons, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. there was yeah. definite buzz about the school. Yeah. Um, the students seemed to really understand and what was going on and could see the connections between the day. So what's the two outer numbers multiplied together, the one and the three? It's three. What's the two inner numbers multiplied? Two. What's the difference between the outer two and the inner two? One. No. Can you now make up another Fibonacci sequence and see what you can work out from that? So remember the Fibonacci sequence is you add your numbers together. Okay? In science we were sorting the elements by the highest atomic number the lowest and highest boiling point and the lowest and highest melting point. So you're going to order them through the pattern of their atomic number, okay? Could you scaffold it then and look and see whether there's any patterns with the reactivity? Now without that, the pattern breaks. You can't speak the French, you can't speak the past tense without that verb here. The way I taught my lesson was very different than I would have normally taught a languages lesson and I think I took them to places they might have not, never been before. They'd learnt some German, they learnt a bit of Spanish in a French lesson, but it was all about seeing that concept of pattern throughout all different languages. No e bayado. And that would be right, so the no goes at the beginning. In the French it goes around the verb. So actually, in each language, the negative structure has its own pattern, yeah? It made me think about it differently as well and it's actually made it a lot clearer to explain it that in that fashion today. Creative Education Trust. Knowledge Connected.